hello you guys i am back with another video i wanted to do a little everyday makeup this is what i do on an everyday basis when i need to be looking cute in like 10 15 minutes not spending any more time and i thought i'd take you along with me and show you a little bit of what i do let's start if you listen to my latest podcast you know that i'm just trying to like figure out a schedule where i can do both videos and also my podcast and maybe do one each week basically like every other week if that makes sense so i thought i'd give them both a go at the same time i've been using the charlotte tilbury cream lately it is worth the hype not gonna lie when i see everyone use one product i'm like how good is this you know everyone is using it is it actually worth the hype? I tried it and it's actually incredible for glow. Bronze up my base because I am pale. And I've also been using this foundation, the Makeup Forever HD Skin, which has been really good. So I could still technically get tan, but I'm just trying to be a little more careful with the sun. I definitely wanted to tan like before my wedding and stuff, but it's just not worth the damage. This foundation makes my skin look so good. It makes your foundation look like skin. It's lightweight though. It's really lightweight. Like the Giorgio Armani Lumina Silk is one of my favorites, but very lightweight. I always always get foundation on my lips concealer i like to do right here not too much just like this this is a really good brush to blend out concealer it's the hourglass one i just feel like i've been distracted and i just want to like decorate my house for fall and get like cute pumpkins and all that stuff but i haven't yet and this oh my god this exploded this always happens with this whenever i use twist products they always oh my god i put way too much okay I, i've gotten my nose done it's important to still nose contour because if you just apply powder and you don't apply anything to your nose, it will just look white and like not blended in with the rest of your face. I'm very much like that. Like if you put highlighter on your face, you should put some highlighter like on your shoulders if they're out or on your collarbones. Just make everything match. I just think it adds to your look for sure. Oh my God, I applied so much. I recently discovered nude sticks. I had never tried them before. I love their colors and they actually last. I blend. I did like a TikTok trying all new makeup products and like now I have like all these new products that I'm obsessed with. So I'm using this Makeup Forever translucent powder. I haven't checked this for flashback. A lot of these powders have really bad flashback. Microbladed my eyebrows literally like three years ago and it is the shape is still there and I can't get it to fade and I really don't want to go get it lasered but yeah I hate it do not microblade your eyebrows because eventually you'll change your mind when it comes to the shape like I just want to make them a little more thick and a little more natural looking and one of my favorite bronzers the hourglass one because it's just so natural I recently discovered hourglass brushes and they are incredible bronze what I like about hourglass products is that like they're kind of like mineral ish so they don't look really cakey which we do not want Always the way to blend it looks a little bit crazy look at this new palette from patrick so maybe it's not new but it's new to me it is so good i just do a light brown and i push it up boom so fast 
so easy. What is the one step that you dread to do in your routine? Because for me, it's definitely my eyebrows. I like hate doing my eyebrows and I do not know why, but let me know what's your least favorite step in your routine. Maybe it's eyebrows too, maybe we're twins. I definitely do not wear makeup every day. I wear makeup like two, three times a week, I would say. I love makeup, but I try not to wear it every day. I have to use the closest little eyebrow pencil in the shade taupe. I find that it really matches my eyebrows. The only way to see if your brows look good is if you take a step back. If you're too close to the mirror, I find that you don't really get to see exactly how they look. Like see, this is the old shape of the eyebrow that I hate. For blush, I like to use this energy one from Tarte because look at how gorgeous this pink is. And it's really vibrant on your cheeks too, which I love. A little bit like this. My trick that makes my makeup look like skin is taking this Laura Mercier liquid highlighter and this is in the shade Champagne Pink. And instead of a, like a powder highlighter, I apply a liquid one. And this is the trick, I promise. Blend it in. Do you see this? Um, the Skin Mist by Tatcha. You can do this before you do your mascara, so. Ooh, let's try this. This Lancome mascara. I think this is brown. I don't know if I want to do brown. The Carolina Herrera. I've actually tried this before and I like it. The lips, let's do this. Lip liner. It's the Dose of Colors in the shade Truffle. And I like to overline at the top, but follow the sides. And then I'll blend it in with a lip gloss. This is the Laura Mercier in rosé and i'll use the brush to kind of like blend it in i always like to clean any mascara residue and this is the finished look my everyday simple easy 10 minute glam that i do literally all the time i hope you liked this video please let me know what else you'd like to see from me because I'd love to film it, come back, and yeah, thank you for watching.